Kenya is increasingly becoming attractive to multinationals seeking to set up shop in the sub-Saharan Africa. Now, this can be proven by the number of international food franchises that are coming to cash in on the liking for fast foods in urban centers. Here is CNBC Africa's Charles Kitonga. The dynamics of Kenya's food industry are changing fast, with one of the key drivers being a constantly expanding market. The fast food segment seems to be most vibrant, marked by frequent entry of international franchises and rapid expansion of local ones. Why are we expanding is because the Kenyan consumer is becoming more and more international. Okay. Um, if you first time I visited Kenya was about 20 years ago and for a Kenyan to eat a pizza 20 years ago was rare. Now for a Kenyan to eat a pizza is a normal part of the diet and going out and so on. So the consumer, due to uh, you know internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, is becoming so much more international. More and more younger people are earning much better money than before and um, since they're willing to have a different taste of uh, a different um, t um, f uh, foods um, there's, there's a gap and that's the, the gap, that's the gap we are trying to, to fill yeah so we we are filling a gap that is right there and uh, they're willing to try out uh, the western culture a culture that has been in the, in the west for very long um, a coffee culture where you they're, they're less into bars where they, they, t they take alcohol, that they're willing to, to get out, not sit in the office, but come and have a meeting in a restaurant and do in a there's no Now that office culture is now not, no longer there. It has been said time and again that the group of mid-income earners is fast rising in the country, and with it, an eat-out culture is growing. For international food franchises, this means a widening opportunity. And for their local counterparts, Time is simply ripe to pump in more investment. Cavadelli already has three branches, this being the, new, the, the newest branch. And of course, um, as massive as it is, it's actually the, the largest uh, coffee house in, um, in Nairobi right now, uh, with a sitting of about 250. With the reason we went into a, such, a, such a massive investment is because we, we realized that we are able to, to, to give, to give uh, the, 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 the clientele is there. They're willing to, to, to spend. And they want space and um, a good, uh, a good, uh, uh, a, pla a good place to, to to have something. So we, we we decided to give them, give them what they want. So our our expansion is more is more customer driven than anything else. Over the past five years, global fast food chains have also invested millions of dollars to set up shop in Nairobi. Japanese fast food restaurant Teriyaki pumped in a million dollars early this year to open their first branch in Nairobi. Most of the new entrants are big brands from the U.S., such as Subway, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Cold Stone Creamery, and Domino's Pizza. So in numbers, we invested or Domino's Kenya, Domino's Pizza, um, $5 million. Yeah, so for now we have three stores. We're expanding. So the motivation is definitely there, the motivation from the customers. Because we have only three stores, we're not able to um, deliver to other areas because we have our delivery areas that we deliver to and many 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 customers have come to us and say hey we need a pizza place somewhere here we need a place here despite the fact that most players maintain that the market is big for everyone local franchises have had to source external expansion capital so as to keep customers for instance cafe daily received a million dollars from a south african venture capital firm Grofin. Uh, the venture capitalists have been there from the beginning when we opened our first branch and uh, they have been there to help us uh, grow. They have been help, uh, there to help us um, um, uh, strengthen our weaknesses. Where I was, I'm a chef by profession, but when the, the venture capitalists came in, they decided to help me understand the finance, the administration, and the staff. So with that, we were able to grow that, that business much faster than we, we had uh, anticipated. Because uh, in the beginning, our contract was six years. And within three years, we were able to have uh, sorted out the, the first loan and that way we were able to go to the second and now they, are, they, are, they have had enough confidence to, to bring in more money to, to go into the third branch. 
Going forward, the franchises project growth in the fast food business, and most of them are already lining up heavy investment towards that end. However, they see several obstacles ahead. Getting regular supply all the time, on time, uh, certainly take at least 30 to 35 percent of my time. Uh, and it will get better. Uh, we know that. But it is a challenge today, still a challenge today. Uh, we have the customers whose tastes keep changing. And we have to keep up with that. Um, you will go into social media uh, anytime on Facebook or Twitter or something, and you'll find one customer who is dissatisfied. And th that one customer will be able to uh, push their, their, their um, dissatisfaction to a very big number of people. Now, it's, now that's a massive challenge because we are unable to, to, to contain a small problem which becomes such a big thing. 